Hi, just wanted to give you a quick update on my garden. You can see my little garden helpers today, Frankie and Dooley. Frankie's are my daughter's three-legged dog that if you look at her one-year update, you can see how she's doing. She's doing really, really well. Although she wants to eat our garden. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so this is what we're harvesting today. Two zucchinis, several pickling cucumbers, and several potatoes. The potatoes I am going to dig up um, probably this weekend because I just don't really have time at the moment. But some are super little. And then we've got some other good sized ones. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest those. We've had so much rain, I don't want them to get rain rot. So here is some watermelon starting. We're so excited. We finally get some watermelon. And then I've been laying down cardboard. So the vines of the zucchini and the cucumber have something to lay on instead of the ground so that they don't rot but this is the zucchini i can harvest i don't know maybe even one a day of those i'm not really sure this was the yellow squash area there's still maybe some little yellow squash growing in here if you see that i don't know if you can see it growing there and then here is a mystery squash if anybody knows what kind of squash that is please let me know some kind of squash there I'm growing um, I didn't do a good job of labeling things but the squash is doing really well it might be a winter squash I'm not really sure so here's my cucumbers I kind of just separated the plant out quite a bit so that the vines weren't so tangled and gave it some more air around the plant. But there's a ton of little pickles on here. I don't know how much pickling I'm going to actually do because as I pick them and harvest them, I kind of just eat them. They kind of make for a fun little pickle or cucumber to eat. So here's some beans. They're not doing as well as I had hoped. Uh, let's go down this row. These are the beans. This nothing is really growing in. I had some, some watermelon planted in here. Not sure what's going on here, but nothing's really growing as well as I'd like it to. But this should be watermelon. I need to get some more cardboard for down there. This is either watermelon or pumpkin growing in here. Again, need a little more cardboard stuck in there. Okay, and then this is eggplant. So I'm so excited about that. The eggplant's growing. Um, here is peppers growing. Peppers are blossoming. They're doing really well. This one actually has a pepper on it. So I think we could pick that one. Oops. Not sure what kind of pepper, but we can give it a try. And then over here, there's a ton more peppers. We're gonna have a lot of peppers here. You see, Frankie, you want a pepper? Yeah, we're gonna have peppers galore, which is great, because I wanna make salsa. So I wanna chop up my peppers and do some salsa canning. Here's another batch of peppers. Doing really well. 
getting some little ones. They should be ready to harvest in a few days. Now over here is my broccoli. So broccoli is not supposed to be planted this time of year. I had some started and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna stick it in the ground and see what happens. And I've got some broccoli growing. So not all of them have the little centers growing and I don't know if they will. Once it gets hot, this will definitely stop. But I have one and then this is okra. So once this broccoli comes out, I can put some more okra in there. And then here is cabbage, which is another warm or cold weather crop. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work. And over here, I've got this plant here is celery. I've never grown celery before. And then also more peppers. Lots and lots of peppers. Now these are potatoes and I just had Brett dig up that one little plant to see if the potatoes were ready. So I think my potatoes are going to be ready to harvest and then I'm going to plant some more beans in here after the potatoes harvest. Okay, so let's check out the tomatoes. Remember I planted like 75 tomatoes? Well, we've had rain and more rain and more rain and more rain for like two weeks. So the tomatoes, this batch of tomatoes, it's looking fine. They're looking good. There's not a lot of tomatoes on it yet on this batch, but they're growing, they're flowering, they're looking pretty good. I did not weed this yet. So these tomatoes, I want you to see what's going on with these leaves. If anybody knows what that's all about. And here are some tomatoes producing on these. These ones with the, see how their leaves are coming up, but they're really curly and crazy. I'm gonna have to get out here and do a little more staking in a bit. Tying them up. Here's one that's way low on the ground I need to tie up. Um, so this part of the tomato section is growing and flowering and hopefully I will get some tomatoes out of it. Um, this tomato section over here, oh, over here, I want to show you, I know it's just a bunch of grass and doesn't look good. But I did plant corn in here and you can see the little corn starting to pop up. I don't know how well it's going to do because I'm not weeding this area. So if it grows into corn, great. My neighbor planted corn and it's already over the top of their head. My corn, no, not so much. Um, probably will put some more beans in these holes when I come plant the other beans since nothing's coming up yet in that. And then over here, I have a lot of little tomatoes coming up. And I did weed this section yesterday. Oh, Frankie just went swimming. Frankie, did you go swimming? Oh no, you're gonna get a shower with me, girl. Okay, so here's the tomatoes that are doing really, really well. I'm so excited about these tomatoes. Oh. Hey, they're doing well. Now, I need some help with these, everyone. Do you see the tops of these tomato plants? So, they're leafy and they're growing. But then the top parts are like straight and stocky looking and not growing nearly as well. So what is up? What happens? Now remember, I fertilize with um, something called 131313 from our local feed store. And I also fertilized with bunny poop. So... 
I don't know if that's the problem or if the two weeks of constant rain is the problem. I'm not sure what I should do. We do, I'm not an organic farmer, sorry to disappoint anyone. Um, we do spray seven for bugs because we had a lot of bugs eating our plants and we do do that also. So let me know what you think. Our ground is very sandy, but we did get some good compost and some good ground, some good soil to put for all of our plants here. But here they are. And then here again are the horses and yesterday we got a new horse. We have this deer netting all around it and it's staked down to the ground, the deer netting. I don't know if you can see it. It is staked, but then we just have a little opening here that we go in and out. So the deer netting helps keep the deer out, but so far it's been helping to keep the bunnies out as well. Okay, so the new horse. This is, this horse has two names. Hey, Little Red. They called him Little Red and Little Joe. And he had a vet check yesterday and we decided to go ahead and purchase him. He, he came from our family friend, He's a friend of Dylan and Chelsea's. Come here, Little Red. Come here. <gasps> Come here, Little Red. Come here, baby. So our family friend that we buy our hay from had this horse that they would sell him to us. He's 12 and a quarter horse gelding. And he actually can't see in one eye, but that hasn't stopped him from being able to be an awesome horse. So this is Little Red. Okay, there's Cash and Phantom, home from training. Here is Johnny and Bugsy. Here is my husband who's getting over diverticulosis, rinsing Frankie off in her little swimming pool. And here's the swimming pool that still has not gotten built because it's been too rainy for the crew to come out and put it up for us. So eventually we'll have a big swimming pool for all of us, not just for Frankie. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, bye. Thank goodness for little dogs. We can just get a quick rinse off in the sink and life can go on. It doesn't take up much time. So running around is her favorite thing to do. And it's worth it to let her play and give her a kick back. There you go, baby. Tell well, everybody bye. See you on the next adventure. Here's an update on how my onions are doing. So they're bulbing up nicely, most of them. After the rains, you're supposed to kind of move dirt around from them to allow them to bulb. Do you see how I'm doing that? So I'm just kind of making sure it's nice and loose around them and they can do their bulb. Here is my herb garden. Cilantro is already flowering. I need to get rid of that. It's bad to let any of it flower like that or it loses its flavor. So you have to always top it pretty early and not let it flower. Okay, and here's some more onions. These are not looking very good. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Looks like something ate their tops off. Good grief. What the heck? I don't know. I guess I need to pick these. There's no more green tops. I wonder if my 
cats are eating them or something. It's kind of weird. I don't know. My cats do like to sit up here a lot. Did you eat my green plant, my green onions? Hey, Trouble. Hey, Trouble. Did you eat these? Wilbur, did you eat my onions? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Bye.